And hello to those of you out there in the BTSC Fantasy Football League. Just going to give you guys a couple final last minute announcements. Uh, just make sure we're all on the same page before Monday and Tuesday. Again, the draft is this Monday and Tuesday, July 19th and 20th, starting at 7 o'clock Eastern both nights. Both nights, I've already talked to site editor Jeff Hartman. He's going to uh, have the articles posted both nights at 6.30. So get there as close as you can to 6.30. Right once you're there, check in in the comment section of that article to let us know that you are there. Because if we get to 7 o'clock and we still haven't seen you check in, we may just end up auto-drafting for you if we don't see you. So, you know, make sure that you are there. And right once you're there, you check in so we know that you are there. And, you know, we're not going to need to auto-pick for you or anything like that. Um... But yeah, make sure you can get there as close to 6.30 as possible. Um, I'm glad that uh, the articles are going to be put up a half an hour early. But the draft is going to start right at 7. So, you know, try to put in your mind 6.30 if you can possibly make it. 6.45 kind of being the latest. I wouldn't want to get there much later because right at 7, we're getting started. So you want to make sure you have your pick tracker. You have the pick tracker uh, up and ready. I will have that link for you the, again the night of. Um, you'll want that open in one tab, and you're going to want the draft thread open up in a separate tab the entire night. There's a possibility if it starts to bog down about halfway through, we move to a fan post article. I have one ready um, just in case uh, the main article starts bogging down because of all the traffic, all the comments. Um, you know, I'm hoping that doesn't happen, but I'm kind of going to expect it at this point. But it's not a huge issue if we do have to move over there. I'll just put the link in the comment section. We'll all jump over there real quick, and we'll just resume the draft and finish uh, the rest of the night there. Uh, so that's not an issue, um, but just something to keep in mind because that is something that could happen. Um, a couple things I mentioned in the last video. Um, again, there's a 2QB limit and stuff, so just because we have 16 people, we don't want someone drafting eight quarterbacks just so a couple people possibly get none. Okay, you know, we're going to have a 2QB limit. The rest of the positions I'm not too worried about. Um, kicker and defense, I don't foresee anybody taking more than two anyways. Um, so quarterback's the only one we're really going to put a limit on. Just don't try to be the troll that you know purposefully drafts 20 defenses to fill up their roster so that some people don't get any. Okay, let's not do that. Uh, if someone does not show up again, I have a list of NFL.com's top 200 players. I'm hoping it doesn't. we don't go past that list of best available um but i'll have a backup plan in place if somebody does not show up they get the top rated player in nfl.com's best available board unless they tell me otherwise or if they already have drafted that position so many times then we'll move to the you know the best player available at their biggest position of need or something but we're you know we're not going to you know do much other than that it's going to be the best player available on nfl.com's big board um so just keep that in mind. If you're not going to make it at the beginning, or there's a certain time you're not sure you're going to be there, let me know as soon as possible. Also, if you have uh, if you have a list of rankings, anything like that, that you want me to find somebody to draft for you, get that to me as soon as possible. I really need it by Sunday at some point. Um, I'm still trying to find some people to help me draft for other people because I already have like three people that may be potential no-shows for part of the time. So, you know, just want to keep that in mind. Uh, so, you know, just be respectful of that. If you're able to make it, don't forget about it. Set a reminder if you have to on your phone to make sure that you show up for this thing. Um, it is going to be good for the site, I think. Um, it'll be fun having, you know, different, you know, people from the BTSC community chiming in um, and stuff. So, you know, that's, you know, it's something I'm looking forward to personally. Uh but, again, do not post any GIFs, images, things that could potentially bog it down more. Um, that is a nice feature of Corral, but that's not one we're going to use the night of. So I'll try to remember to put that in the article as well. Um, the night of, to remind those that are just viewing, you know, not to post a bunch of GIFs and stuff. Because that will bog things down. Um, don't wait to be put on the clock after round one either. In the first round, each person I'll put on the clock, just like you know the commissioner would for the NFL draft. But after that first round, um, we're going to try to speed things up a little bit so we don't you know take all night. Again, we don't want this to go into the middle of the night. That's why we want you guys to have you know your draft rankings ready and stuff, so you 
you know, you're not drafting players that are already taken. Again, the night of, make sure you're crossing players off your list and stuff so you're not drafting players that have already been taken. The pick tracker will help some, but you really want to have a backup as well. Um, and that would be a good old pen and paper uh, with your list of rankings on it. Um, but back to, you know, and stuff the night of, um, you will have 90 seconds per pick, but don't wait for me to put you on the clock after the first round because... Uh, you know, you, you only have 90 seconds. So right once the person before you submits their pick, you're up and stuff. So don't wait for me to put or else your time's going to run out. So, you know, just you, pay attention to the pick tracker, pay attention to who's picking, pay attention to what pick numbers you have. Um, and then that should be helpful. That should allow you to, um, be able to keep track of everything the night of. So those are the main things I wanted to just, you know, remind everyone of. They're going to go up at 630 both nights. Try to get there as soon as you can. Um, if you're not going to be a no-show again, just let me know as soon as possible. If you have specific players you want taken, I can't guarantee anything, but I will do my best the night of, you know, juggling with whatever we can, it'll depend on how much help that we can get. Um, but you know, just keep that in mind. Uh, this Monday and Tuesday, seven o'clock, get there around six 30 if possible in the BTSC comment section. Um, an article will go up for it. You'll know which article it is. It will be the first one on the page submitted at six 30. Um, you know, so just... Make sure you're prepared because, well, you got, by the time you're viewing this, you probably have about 30, between 36 and not even 48 hours. So, you know, just, uh, if you have to finish your board, I would finish it. Again, top 200 is probably the furthest you'd have to go. Um, but just make sure you have a sure list of players that you are really wanting to take in the draft so that you are ready to go when it is your turn to pick. I think that's all I have. Most of you have done a trial run and stuff in the, uh, fan post section with me and stuff, comment section. It's gone well. Um, but, you know, if you have any other questions or concerns, let me know as soon as possible, um, and that will be good. But I think that's all I have for today, so just make sure you, the night of, you have two separate tabs open on your uh, desktop or laptop, um, the pick tracker and the draft thread, and that will be good. So, uh, looking forward to it. Hope you are as well.